My name is Charlotte and I work in the Historic Clothing Department at the New Canaan Museum and Historical Society. We're getting ready for a big wedding dress exhibit in June and in this video we were sizing our dresses to the existing mannequins that we have and structured undergarments. That's right, many of you will be thrilled to hear that Mike was able to find some existing structured petticoats in our storage and we spent the afternoon matching the undergarments to the correct time period and dress. We also noted that this one won't close on this mannequin which means it does need a smaller one. A lot of the dresses do fit on these mannequins though, or probably even need a bigger one from upstairs, so it really just depends on the dress. This one is an 1880s gown, which needs a big shelf bustle in the back. I'll be able to show it to you when we take the skirt off the mannequin. You can tell when we look at the back that the rear of the skirt and silhouette is being pushed up and out. This dress is covered in the absolute most exquisite beadwork, all completely hand done. It's one of my favorite dresses, and if you think it looks great in this video, it looks even more spectacular in person, so make sure to come visit the show. We have hoop skirts for the 1840s, 1870s, and 1880s, but we're still looking for an enormous elliptical 1860s hoop skirt, so if anyone has a rec on where to look, that would be super great. Here is the petticoat from the underneath. I turned it to the side so you can see that big bump in the back. Once we took the jacket off, we were able to get a shot of the inside. This silhouette is called a princess line silhouette because it's tailored with all of these vertical lines. There isn't a horizontal waistline. And there's the belt that will help hold it in place around the wearer. The messy stitches that I'll show you at the top are where somebody attached the beadwork to the outside of the back. And the boning in the waist is all flexible metal. I love the little scallops that they added as details. And then the point of the jacket has a weight sewn into the back so that it stays down. And it was pretty heavy, so that was kind of cool. 